MovieWeb.com. I just wanted to ask about the, the dynamic that you noticed on set between uh, Joaquin and uh, James Gray, the director. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They've made three films together, obviously mm -hmm. close friends. Do they have a shorthand together? How do they deal with each other? They definitely had a shorthand together. And I, the very first day I had to shoot was the cafe scene, um, which is practically smack dab in the middle of the movie and in the middle of our relationship. And so that was the first scene I had to go into the whole movie with. And um, I hadn't met Joaquin or, or really worked with James ever. I'd only met him once before. So going into the film fresh with, you know, having no background of their work or even, you know, what we're doing in the movie at all was very, um, it was very nerve wracking in the beginning, but soon they warmed up and I warmed up and we were able to work together well. Yeah. All right, well, can you comment on that further? As an actor, if dealing with your, if you're a director and you see that he has like, you know, a different approach with uh, the, the lead actor, mm -hmm. how do you approach him? Well, do I, do I do good in this scene? And what do you ask for the, the extras? Well, I think, you know, James is such a great director. He really finds the kind of varying levels of the scene. So you, you're able to play all aspects, all extremes. And so, you know, I never felt like I was stuck. I always felt like I could have something fresh to move towards whenever we were doing any part of the scene. So, um, you know, he, he definitely has a way of speaking with actors that you can naturally take on and, and, you know, perform anything, you know, that he would like to see from, you know, you know, pretty simple, simple reaction to actually engaging in like a full on argument, you know. Um, he really likes to play, so it was fun. All right, um, the, the two choices that Leonard has in this film, he has Gwyneth who has her issues and is kind of a party girl and you're more mm -hmm. a family oriented person. Um, the, the bar mitzvah scene, uh, they're Israeli, they're, they're Jewish. Can you talk about like, like learning that part of the character? Were you familiar with that? How, how did that go? Well, I, um, I'm, I have some Jewish in my background, some, and, uh, but I never had a bummer for anything because I grew up Buddhist. But um, all my friends were Jewish growing up, so I've been to plenty of bar mitzvahs and was able to you know, partake in all of the celebrations. So I think I was educated as a young kid with that. <laughs> all right. um, as a further add on to that question, um, I see Brooklyn, Brighton as another mm -hmm. character in this film. This whole you know thing about having a, uh, a romance with a neighbor upstairs in the building. Mm -hmm. I don't think a lot of other states have any areas that are like this. Yes. Can you talk about fil filming in Brighton and what that added to your performance. Oh, it was wonderful because um, in the actual building you could see literally across from you know room to room and you could feel um, the actual you know heritage of the buildings um, as you were acting in them. So you never felt like you were on a set or stage or anything because it was actually real life and you know radiators going off and you know car horns honking. So you felt like a real part of the community. And so um, I enjoy that very much because, you know, being from California, yeah, nothing feels that unique and different. Um, and so, you know, pretty much everything's the same. So there it was really, you could really get your, you know, your bearings and your surroundings really beautifully. All right, uh, my last question, what do you have coming up next? Um, I, I have a lot of things going on. I'm not quite sure. There's lots of things that have to be financed. So I may be doing a mystery but we're not even sure yet, because that's a mystery in and of itself, because who knows if it'll get made. <laughs>